CIET NCERT presents audiobook Looking Around Textbook of Environmental Studies for Class 3 Page number 52 Chapter number 8 Flying High There is a picture given on page number 52 there are different birds sitting on the branches of a tree. Identify each of these birds with the help of given poems. On my head, I have a crest. All say, I dance the best. Of my feathers, I am proud. Before the rain, I cry aloud. Who am I? Long and grooved is my tail. High up in the sky I sail. I pick and eat all the mice. The dash is what you call me. My feathers are green, my beaks red. Guava and green chili I am fed. I love to imitate people's voice and keep making a lot of noise. Who am I? Black are my feathers and black is my dash. Cow cow I do all day long. Dash Page number 53 The second part of the same picture is given on page number 53 where different birds are sitting on the branches of a tree. Identify each of these birds with the help of given poems. Kuhu kuhu is my sound. Everywhere I am found. My sweet voice gives me fame. Dash is my name. Dead animals I do eat. Making places clean and neat. High up in the dash I fly. Vulture is what I am called by. My beak is pink, feathers grey. Gutter goo, I go on all day. In houses, I make my home. A dash is how I am known. My beak is very special. I use it like a needle. Stitching leaves, I make my home. The dash, bird is how I am known. In trunk of trees, holes I make. Hidden insects, I intake. Tuk, 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 I work all day. The dash is what people say. Page number 54 Again on page number 54, there is the third part of the picture given where two birds are sitting on the branch of a tree and talking to each other. Why is there so much noise in the jungle? I just cannot sleep. The bulbul said to the owl. Dear owl, the birds are all praising themselves and shouting. The owl said, Stop this hullabaloo! Why are you quarrelling? We are all special in our own ways. Our claws, beaks, feathers and sounds are different. Yet, we are all birds. If we all looked alike, ate the same food and made the same sounds, think how dull the world would be. 1. Which of the birds mentioned in the lesson have you seen? Write their names. Eight blank spaces are given here. Write the names of birds which you have seen. 2. Now, go outside and look for birds on trees, in water, on the ground, in and around bushes. How many birds could you see? 3. In the table, write the names of birds and tick right the place where you saw them. If you do not know the names of any bird, then write 
how you would know it. Note, if the children see the birds outside, they can recognize them easily, even when drawn on paper. In order to fill in the blanks, it is important that the children know the characteristics of birds, even if they do not know their names. Page number 55 On page number 55, there is a table given. You have to write the name of the birds and where you saw them. In water, on the tree, on the ground, in the house or while the birds were flying. Have you ever noticed that different birds have different types of beaks? Given here are pictures of three different birds. Identify the birds with the help of their beaks. There is a picture given on page number 55. This picture is divided into three different parts. In the first part, a bird is given with red curved beak and green body. In the second picture, a bird is given with long black beak and black body. In the third picture, a bird is given with small curved beak and it has a crest on its head. No. In order to develop children's interest in birds, let them observe the birds quietly. They should also learn to note down their observations and ask them to share in the class. Page number 56 Now, again on page number 56, there is a picture given of two different birds. In the first picture, the bird has sharp curved beak and brown body. It flies high in the sky. In the second part, the bird has long yellow beak and white body. Identify these birds with the given description. In the blank space, draw a picture of the beak of some other bird, colour it and write its name. Just as birds have different types of beaks, they also eat different types of food. While some eat fruits, some eat seeds, some eat eggs, while others eat fish. Match the birds with their food. There is a table given on page number 56. On the left-hand side, various birds are made. On the right-hand side, different kinds of foods are made which different birds eat. Match the birds on the left-hand side with the food they eat on the right-hand side. The birds drawn in the table are a vulture, an eagle, a bulbul, a parrot and a pigeon. The different foods made in the table are green chilies, a dead bird, greens, a rat, insects. Page number 57 Have you ever noticed that birds fly and walk in different ways? Their neck movements also differ. The mena moves her neck back and forth with a jerk. The owl can rotate its neck backwards to a large extent. Can you move your neck like the owl? There are some birds which can imitate our voice. Do you know the name of any such bird? Draw its picture in your notebook. Colour it and write its name. Go outside and watch how birds walk and move their necks. Look at their feathers and listen to the sounds made by them. Copy the sounds made by any three birds. Copy their neck movements too. 
ask your friends to guess which birds you copied. The feathers of birds are of different colors, shapes and sizes. Their feathers help them to fly and keep them warm too. From time to time, birds lose their old feathers and new ones grow in their place. You must have often seen feathers of birds lying around. Collect feathers which you find lying around. Study their shape, size, color and discuss about it. Make the picture of a bird in your notebook and paste the feathers on it. Write its name. 1. Other than birds, which are the other animals that can fly? There are six blank spaces given here to write the names. Page number 58 2. If you could fly like a bird, where would you like to go? What else would you do? There is a blank space given here. What would happen if birds could not fly but only walk on their feet? Let's make a cock. There is a picture given on page number 58. This picture is divided into five parts. In each of the part, a paper is shown. Make a cock with the help of this piece of paper as shown in the pictures. Take a square piece of paper. 1. Fold it along the dotted lines as shown in the picture. 2. Fold the paper into half along the dotted line. 3. Now fold the paper along the dotted line in the direction of the arrow. 4. Fold the paper to make the beak of the cock as shown in the picture. 5. Take a piece of red paper and cut it in the shape of a crest of a cock. Paste this on the head of the cock. 6. Cut a small round circle from a black paper. Paste it to make the eye of the cock. Now, the cock is ready. Chapter 8. Flying High ends here. You were just listening to the audiobook, Looking Around, textbook in Environmental Studies for Class 3. Recorded by Butelang Lingdo and Vikas Sangwan. Production assistance by Meenakshi Kukreti. Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India